Now to the two shootings on local freeways that sent two drivers to the hospital. Those shootings unfolded just a few minutes and miles apart on the 94 and 805. Both are still under investigation. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live in College Grove. And Rachel, you spoke to one of the people who was shot. He told me it happened so fast he did not get a look at the shooter. He was on the 94 near the Edco warehouse when the bullets hit his SUV. He was able to drive a little farther east near the car dealership. That's when he found out shortly after that that he was the second victim in a matter of minutes. You can see CHP and paramedics examining the woman's injury. It was around 2.15 Tuesday morning. She was north on the 805 near Imperial Avenue when a bullet hit her in the neck. She was able to pull over and call 911. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital. Roughly 10 minutes later, shots rang out on another nearby freeway, this time on eastbound State Route 94 near College Grove Way. Again, the victim was able to pull over and call for help. Five bullets hit the man's SUV, shattering both front windows. The man didn't want to go on camera, but he told me over the phone he was leaving work at the downtown jail where he's a nurse. He was on the 94 heading home to Spring Valley. He says a car was driving right next to him. When he switched lanes, he says he felt a burning sensation. You can see where the bullets went right through his door. He was shot twice in the butt, but he told me he was okay. He says it happened so fast he didn't see the driver. The CHP shut down the 94 near Federal to search for bullet casings. It's a freeway, it's loud, all that kind of stuff happens over there. And I Suzanne Tai lives in an apartment complex right off the 94. She says she woke up to the commotion. It's, it's scary to like be living right there and then have that happen like just a couple yards away from me. The CHP says a black sedan, possibly a Nissan Altima, was seen speeding away from each shooting. The woman who was shot is also expected to recover. The CHP is investigating both incidents and any possible connection between the two. Reporting live in College Grove area, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. Rachel, thank you.